at me. Look 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 at me. With this little device, it's a strawberry slicer. Sure, you could slice strawberries in this, but I would argue that this is actually a training device that teaches children that they shouldn't reach for everything that's pretty. <laughs> A gummy. Oh, isn't it so pretty? Shouldn't we reach in there? Go ahead, go ahead. No! <laughs> Let's move on to another device that has received many reviews online. The Baker's Edge Non-Stick Edge Brownie Pan. Why would anybody create something like this? The average 9x9 pan simply does not create enough edge. There is a problem, of course. You could blow 35 bucks, or you could just pour your brownie batter into muffin pans, which you already have. Well, now, how do you know that, Mark? Mark, have you been in my kitchen? Because you think you know everything. You think you know me? <laughs> True Mark. that, man. Why would you, you know me. Why would you buy that? Let's it? move on to one of my uh, favorite uh, tools on this. What? List. I speak, of course. Freaking brass knuckles? Kitchen meat handling and shredding claws. Uh, this was a two-star review. Not very kind. Very sturdy. But I'm just not sure what I bought these for. A fork will do the same job. <laughs> a fork? I think deep down you do know why you bought these. You Brass can't do knuckles. this with a fork. <gasps> exactly. These things are not meat shredders. They are a lifestyle. Who doesn't want to be Wolverine? I want to be Wolverine, and you know darn well you want to be Wolverine too. Exactly. You know what you bought them for. Man up. Grow a that set. Right though. Use those things for everything. This brings us to the Vegetti, or is it Vegetti? I'm not really comfortable saying either of those words, but the truth is That's it's a, a combination world? of vegetable and spaghetti that just sounds wrong. This oh, whole nasty. device is uh, basically meant to create noodles out of vegetables. You oh. stick it in there and, and give it a twist, which looks amazingly painful. Sadly, sadly, this product broke <laughs> upon first use. First use. One week later, I found one of the tiny little blades in my salad. Oh, Nobody man. Nobody said anything about shredding salad in this thing, did they? It's meant to make noodles, people, not to make salad. This, ladies and gentlemen, as you probably know, is the Hamilton Beach 25478 Breakfast Sandwich Maker but what with do, do. Timer. I saw this on a uh, Food Network program and thought it was brilliant. Tried it at home and hated it will be regifted to a college student. First off, I don't understand why you would give something that's horrible to a college student. They already have enough troubles with all those student loans. But what's more important <laughs> is that the Food Network TV show you saw this on is called Cutthroat Kitchen. It was given as a sabotage. That means a bad thing. And this is pretty much the worst thing that I've ever seen in my life. I'm not here to defend it, but here's the thing. You were stupid enough to just use it because you saw it on television. <laughs> Fail. I want to bring in the revolutionary <laughs> hey, it is great. because it invents an entirely new category of food. Uh -oh. It's sweet spot, eggs. Observe. Hey, buddy. Hey, that's a... Uh, and in a few moments... That's a little tool for how-to basic. Two of egg will rise out of the roly. <laughs> Come on, roly. Nine minutes, but you could have easily fried that bit up. Really has you could have done bought the thing, but <laughs> outside. That's for safer handling. It's Seventeen happening. minutes, well, you dying yeah, of hunger baby. now. Come on, Rolly. Oh, that looks so nasty. Oh, and you didn't you even know you wanted something like that, did you? Uh, you know, breakfast with the family around the table. Oh. It's because you people are staring at them. Quit looking. It's hard to, to do this when you're, when you're not, you know, when you're, you guys you just not You could have cooked two dozen for, eggs for by the time that thing. junk came out. Look like a messed up banana. Well, now I have to say that there have been some negative reviews, and I just want to read one that I think sums up the real hurtful things that are being said about Roly. This one guy wrote, <laughs> it worked only one time and stopped forever. Never work again. I think it is very sensitive. Well, wouldn't you be? You're expected to, to perform like this in front of people over and over again at the <laughs> breakfast table? Of course you're gonna be sensitive. Come on, America, don't be so stinking judgy. You know, I'm not really that hungry. You... <laughs> anyway. Exactly, that's all the nasty. Daily Dot. I hope you've <laughs> learned something. I know I have. I can't eat that. I wouldn't eat it either, bro.
<laughs> hey, that was very funny though. It's entertaining. The link to this video will be in the description. Go check it out for yourself. Go ahead and subscribe to the Daily Dot. I know I am. So I can do some more reactions to these videos because I really enjoy them, man. Them is some dumb kitchen gadgets on Amazon. And I'm glad they kind of put this together so you can steer away. Not that I ever would have went there, but if you was planning on buying this, uh, clearly a lot of people have been buying this. This will sum it up to tell people that buy stuff like this to not buy it, all right? Do not buy it. Don't go buy this junk that he just showed, man. Very entertaining video. I like it very much, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of these. And hopefully you looking forward to see this and more of my reactions. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Look at me. 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 Look at me.